Well, hello, hello, and welcome to another lesson of the Focus on Storyblock course. I am Marcelo Lewin, the Headless Creator. As always, feel free to get a hold of me right there, Marcelo at headlesscreator.com. Today, I have a special guest presenter. His name is Sam Snopko, and he's the head of developer relations for Storyblock. He's going to show us how to set up and configure real-time visual editing in Storyblock. You'll see how we're going to be able to connect the code to the front end in Storyblock to be able to allow authors to visually edit in context of the template. Uh, but without further ado, and I won't tell you anything more about Sam because I'm going to invite Sam over right now. Sam. Hi, Marcelo. Hi, everybody. Thanks for having me here. How are you, sir? Uh, good, thank you. It's uh, quite hot here already, but I guess so. That's the where summer. is here? Uh, here is like near uh, Vienna, Austria, so Europe. I see. Okay, and how hot is it? Oh, right now it's like 35 degrees or something like that around that. Uh, oh, okay, that's degrees. pretty hot. Uh, now we get here, now we do Fahrenheit here. So we get about 118, which is around close to 42, 43 sometimes. Okay, it's, it's definitely hotter, but still. Yeah, because we're <laughs> the desert, right? In Southern California, uh, pretty close to the desert. So um, cool. So, uh, hey, you're the head of DevRel. So um, before yes. you get to tell us how you got to be that, uh, what's your background? Are you a developer? Obviously, you must be a developer. And how did you get into development? Oh, it's. Uh, I, I will keep the short uh, story very short. I try to. Uh, I was developer, and I was like trying. I wanted to be developer like very soon, like from fourteen or something like that. I hope to like you know like to to produce the games. But at the end of the day, I was like studying at the university, doing some business uh, analysis. So I was really into modeling, all the diagrams and all that stuff. I love that stuff, really. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we moved to Germany with my wife and uh, I couldn't speak so good German. So it was not so great for a business analyst to do this stuff. So I switched to web development, which I really love because that was a great decision. You see like instantly the results, you can uh, really like do the changes for your users and all that stuff. So I, I, I really, I really loved it. And sometimes flow, I, I was like CSS geek, uh, HTML, and trying to do everything as performant as possible. And at the end of the day, I just found out about the Next.js and Vue. I really love the technologies, and I was missing only one part, and that's where I'm getting to Storyblock. So it was like 2017, and I was working with the old traditional big monolithic CMSs, and I was like not happy with them because they were like not fulfilling the atomic design. I couldn't like model the stuff as I really wanted, as the customers wanted to have it. So I was like looking for all the headless CMSs out there. And I was even like considering to build uh, one to, for, for myself. <laughs> <laughs> but then uh, suddenly I like after some tries, I found Storyblock and I, I just fell in love in it uh, with all the approach of uh, our CEO and CTO as uh, they did it and uh, how they respond to feature requests and all that stuff. And then I was starting to basically speak about them, about the Storyblock, about the Next, about the combination. And then uh, last year they asked me and approached me to like if I want to join the company. So I joined the company and became uh, one of the first DevRels, of course. And then that's kind of made me uh, also like the head. So now I'm finding out how, what is uh, and how are the responsibility of uh, this position and everything what brings it. So it's like very, very interesting. I have to say it's it's much more than you see on the first side. So it's not only traveling. <laughs> <laughs> right, as right. everybody would uh, expect. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So, you know, I like to close out my interviews before we jump into the lesson with like some sort of personal question. So as you can tell by my background, I'm a total movie geek. And I always ask my presenters, uh, hey, what's your favorite movie? So it could be a favorite movie or a TV show. Okay, that's will be hard. I mean, like, it's definitely Star Wars uh, movies. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, but, I don't know if uh, you can see over here. There's uh, my yeah, Star yeah, Wars poster. That. Yeah, you know, yeah. see my lightsaber. I actually have a lightsaber there too. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. I never get there. Uh, I I read a lot of books. So um, oh, so you're is, a total geek. Yeah, I'm total geek. I'm like very unhappy as the Disney took over. I mean, like I was so happy and also unhappy because I was happy that no Mandalorian. You don't like Mandalorian? No, no, no. Mandalorian is the best. Stuff. Uh, like that's the best what uh, Disney did. And probably if I would choose, then it will be like in the top in all the times is Mandalorian is like where the Star Wars should head it. And also right. like if I then I would choose also like the Clone Wars, even the animated series I really like. Yeah. Oh, well, the especially the, the latest season, right? The latest yeah. uh, and the last yeah. season that was for me like the kind of the, the, the real ends. <laughs> so yeah. how it should look like. Okay, we could talk for Star Wars forever here, but yeah. I'm going to end it with uh, which one is your favorite episode? I just need to know of all the episodes. <sighs> uh, Movie, just pick that's, one. 
That's very hard a question, to be honest. I mean, like for me, as I am uh, a yeah, little bit younger and I started with uh, episode one. So I would say like episode three is also uh, for me really, really cool uh, because of the lightsaber uh, matches, but then definitely the uh, the the New Hope or uh, even the uh, Empire Story Breaks. That's right. like, yeah, those are the classics. Yep, yep, definitely. All right, sounds good. All right, enough of that because, you know, people here are not here for Star Wars or maybe they are, who knows? Maybe that'll be more popular. <laughs> Oh, yeah, probably, I, I probably. Be able to speak like for <laughs> hours about this stuff. All right, we see your screen. It's all yours. If uh, yep. anybody, if you have any questions, please type them in um, the comments. Uh, we have a whole bunch of people here, and you can see uh, Raksha is on, and we have uh, Arisa. Everybody. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Um, but if you have any questions, type them in the comments. Uh, Sam, I'll ask you, and you know I'll have questions. But for now, I'm going to go on mute. It's all yours, bud. Great. Uh, so one more time, hello everybody. So this is Storyblock, and first of all, I just need to say like we are Storyblock, not Storybook. So if you are confusing sometimes, it's okay. A lot of people get confused, and this is the website you should check out for the Storyblock as the headless CMS. And now I am jumping directly to the, my project, which I prepared for you, and you can also try it by yourself. It's like getting started. So there's also the website. I probably send you a link later where you can uh, also get it. So, and uh, we are going to try uh, visual, real-time visual editing with uh, the Getting Started project and the Story Block. So, in Story Block, we have uh, like many other things. The features, like usual, all the co uh, content management system have. But one feature I will really like, and I think it's very, really important for upcoming three years and uh, times for uh, the marketers and the content editors, is the real-time or at least the visual editing, like that you can preview your content before changing it. So here I have a project where I have one story. Well, we call it story, not the page, because uh, the stories can represent also the other stuff, not only pages, could be like your application where it's not page, but something else or object. And it's also, it's like uh, basically implementation of one of your content types. So in this case, this is implementation of the page of the content type page. So and if I hit it here and I open it, I finally, I, I see uh, do part and I see also the visual editing part here in the middle and I see on right hand side I see the content editor so first of all what you usually see uh, in the CMSs uh, which is like ready to form with you so it's like something like this which we have and you can like edit here so I can go here and ch change for example the headline of the teaser to hello headless uh, creator and this works it's like Everything is working, but it's, I think like it's great. It's even better to see it like in real time. So what I have here is the visual editor. So it's embedded in iframe your real website. In this case, it's my local host. So it's really like running my local host. If I jump on the side here, sorry, you can see this is my local host, and here it's like running my client. So and here, if as I change it, the normal and usual way to preview your content uh, on the website is like yeah, like now I have to have the save. And then I have to reload the website or I can like ask my iframe to reload. And they will say like, okay, I see here the hello headless creator. And then I could like also like go for like preview link and I could have uh, like different previews in different uh, technologies like Nuxt.js, Nuxt.js, uh, Svelte, whatever we are talking about. In this case, I am build, I built this getting started with the Next, but we have also like the same approach for Nuxt.js. So what we are talking here about the real-time editing and where we are going to and how to make this better even because this is kind of already cool that I have something which I can like edit here on the side and then I see the preview of it but we can do even better so I, I here prepare my code and here I commented in the Nuxt.js I'm not going to detail uh, but basically I have here the mounted hook and in the mounted hook what I am doing here I'm creating a, a storyblock instance uh, of a storyblock bridge. And the storyblock bridge is a little JavaScript snippet that we are using only on the draft content of your website, not on the production. And this snippet will take care of that, that we will be able to handle some events between the right hand side. So here, the content editor and the website here. So as you can see, it's everything should recompile. I will just reload the website. I see my website again. So now, what the Storyblock bridge is doing is that I can now click on the website. So I have even here some context menu and I can now click here and I can go like for, okay, this is a hello headless creator. I can start changing. So uh, hello world again, just put it back. And now I can.